iPhones, new watch, new iPads. Did Tim Apple blow you away? We have a lot to talk about today. Mm, I didn't really get blown from Tim. <laughs> That's dirty. Hey, it's Rick. Welcome to VidTech with Rick. Well, we just finished watching the Apple event, September 2021. I really enjoy all the Apple events. I just think the production value is oh, just incredible. Now we know why it's called California Streaming is because they went through all of California. I'm like, I've been there, I've been there, I've been there. <laughs> now, let's talk about iPhone. Of course, the iPhone. Here it is. I'm going to get, you know, that Sierra Blue iPhone iPhone 13 Pro, oh, love it. iPad mini, it's a completely new all-screen design. That, I'm not really into iPads, but I'm kind of thinking about that iPad mini. That kind of really looked cool. The iPad mini really, really impressed me. I can see myself bringing that to the gym and putting it up because even my iPhone 12 Pro Max just is not big enough to watch movies on when I'm on the treadmill. And I'm on that treadmill for an hour. I'll do app, my Apple Fitness Plus. And yes, and then I'll do uh, like on the treadmill workout. I'll watch like a movie or something or Ted Lasso. Or For Ted Lasso. I'm thinking that I would just rather have a smaller iPhone and then the iPad mini. Is that, is that crazy <laughs> to bring that to the gym? Let's talk about Apple Watch. The watch, it doesn't look anything like the renders that we saw from John Prosser. Flat screen and bigger. I have the Series 3 and I really thought it was gonna change my life. I thought the Apple Fitness Plus was gonna change my life and everything. Oh, come on now. It didn't. Apple Fitness Plus. Right now, in fact, I'm FWF, filming while fat. Uh, and over 500. I always thought because this was so cheap, if I really liked it, I will get the new one. Whatever it is, I'll get the new one. So I will probably get a watch series seven, but I'll probably wait until Christmas. I wasn't like blown away. I would love to see a camera on it. I installed watch OS eight beta on this and it slowed it down a little. Why would they do that? Oh, cause they want you to buy a new watch. <laughs> and we're not done yet. Now this iPhone. 13 Pro. Again, not super impressive. Not a whole bunch of great, great stuff. It still has a dumb notch. Get rid of the notch. But I do like the Sierra Blue. You can get me with a blue color any day. I bought the um, Pacific Blue last year, the iPhone 12. I'm kind of thinking about ditching the iPhone Pro Max and getting just an iPhone 13 Pro because uh, I'm kind of thinking I don't really need the bigger screen. And especially if I get the uh, iPad mini, I. I really wouldn't need the bigger screen, but it doesn't seem like there's anything different. We're bringing ProMotion to iPhone. They both have the ProMotion. Now, I really enjoy the thought of the ProMotion. I don't think it will matter to me at all. I'm not really that into it. I'm really into the iPhone for filming. Our most advanced video features. Now, let's talk about battery life. Uh, the battery life. Now, I will say this. My iPhone 12 Pro Max, I've never worried about battery. Hardly ever, ever do I think about the battery. Okay, last year, the iPhones were different. The Pro and the Pro Max were different, a little different. The camera was a little different. So this year it looks like they're both the same. So I, I really think I'm just gonna get the regular iPhone Pro. Okay, so those were my highlights of what I thought about the event. I thought the event was slick. I love the event. Anyway, what did you think about the Apple event? I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great, but I'm not, I wasn't terribly impressed. How about you? Please leave a comment and thank you for watching.